YouTube after uh, my unboxing video of this uh, camera I have had a lot of questions of how to connect it to your computer and get the video off of it in the review video I made after that I demonstrated the way I do it normally connecting the camera to a TV card and then to my laptop but since a lot of people own a Mac or PC which has Firewire I decided to do a video on how to connect it through Firewire. Now for my old iBook I'm using this type of cable this one goes into the camera the other one goes into my Macintosh and for my other laptop I'm simply using a cable which has two of the same ends. First I'm going to show you how to connect it to your Mac it's not difficult you connect this plug into come on, the camera and the other end goes in there there we go now first I'll have to switch the camera on or else it won't work. See? It's on just the wall here. I'm going back to my Mac. It's it's a old iBook which only runs iLife 03 or 04. I have 03. I'm starting up iMovie here. There we go. Now a lot of people know the older versions of iMovie and there's a little switch here which has scissors on one end ah, it automatically switched and there we have it see it immediately worked remember it's an old iBook G3 800 MHz they got recognized right away Alright, I'm quitting iMovie. Disconnecting the cable. There we go, one end to the other. Now, I hope my cable is long enough. And again, I'm leaving the camera on so you can see what happens under Windows XP. I'm not sure if it works under Windows 7 or Vista. But I don't have that, so you'll have to excuse me. Well, there we go. There's a the firewire. And as soon as I plug it in, Windows has to recognize it. Hope it works. Come on. Come on, come on. Do it. You hear that sound? Doo -doo. Means Windows has recognized the new hardware. It's going to load drivers, as you see. Now, the view is not as clear as I want it to be. I'm not using screen capture programs, so bear with me. There we go Samsung DV camcorder. Has to load up some drivers. And there we go. Your new hardware is installed and ready to use. Now, Windows comes up with this little screen. Capture video using Windows Moves Maker. I've never used it, but I will demonstrate that it works. Sorry for the ambulance coming by. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, if someone can make a good tutorial on Windows Movie Maker. I'd be glad to take it. There we go. It says capture video file. You give it a name. I say name. Like I said, I've never used it. I've got other programs to do that for me. 
Click next. The best quality for playback on your computer. Yeah. Just leaving the defaults on here. Like I said, it's only to demonstrate. There we go. And we have a few. Start capture, I'm not going to do that. But, well, that's it for demonstrating how to connect your camera to either your Mac or your Windows machine. Now, if you have problems connecting it to either one, uh, I'm not that good of a technician in those things, so don't come asking me. You can post it in the comments, maybe someone else knows how to fix your problem, but as I demonstrated on an iBook G3 with iMovie 03, it worked, and on Windows XP, uh, SP3, I think it is, and Windows Movie Maker, it also works. So, hope to see you in the next movie. Bye bye.